Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our series on iOS development with UIKit by taking a look at the app delegate and scene delegate in an iOS project that uses UIKit. Now, remember how in the last video we talked about the delegates and protocols communication pattern. Well, this, this right here, the app delegate and the scene delegate, they both conform to a delegate protocol, right? a protocol that is meant to have all the instructions and stuff like that, that a delegate is supposed to uh, be able to do. And then we have all the, we have the required functions in that protocol that these files must be able to perform. Okay, so what, is the, what does the app delegate do? Let's talk about that. Well, the app delegate is supposed to manage, it's, what, it's what's used to manage your, the life cycle of your app itself. So the entire app, all of its windows and stuff like that, uh, just the app itself is managed under the app delegate. So if we go into Xcode, we can take a look at some of these methods here. So in here, we can see that the delegate we're conforming to is, uh, the, the protocol we're conforming to that makes this a delegate is the UI application delegate protocol. All right. And then, and then we have a function for application did finish launching with options. This basically is what happens. Th this, this function is automatically fired off by the system when, um, you know, when the app needs something to be done uh, when the app is done launching. So anything you need to have done after your application launches, uh, you do it in here. And this will return a Boolean telling the system whether or not the application was successful in finishing uh, the launch process. All right. Now, now this, this method right here Let's see here. So this method is called, as this comment says, when a new scene session is created. So when, it, so for example, when a new window is created in your app, because iPad actually supports multiple windows, or if you're using a Mac Catalyst, when it, when you create a new window of your Catalyst app, this is called. All right, so you would use this as, again, as the comment says, you would use this to, you know, configure the, something, configure the new scene and tell it that that's the configuration you want it, you want it to use and all that kind of stuff. Now, now this method right here, application did discard scene session is as the signature suggests, meant to be used, th this is called when you discard a scene. So like when you close a scene or a window, uh, this gets called. All right. So as the comments also suggest, uh, if there's any resources that a scene uses that you need to close up, you need to discard to avoid memory leaks, uh, you use this method to do that as well when that scene session gets dismissed or discarded, or rather. And so that is our app delegate. So all of our different app lifecycle stuff is done in here. But if we go back to our navigator, we go into our project navigator, 
and we go down into our scene delegate, this, uh, let's see, the scene delegate is what we use to manage the life cycle events of our scenes. Now, we didn't used to have a scene delegate. We used to only have an app delegate. However, the reason why we have a scene delegate is, like I mentioned earlier, in an iPad app, it supports multiple windows, also known as scenes. So we needed a scene delegate to be able to manage the different scenes. All right. So let's see, let's go down to the class signature here. And so the protocol that we're conforming to here is UI window scene delegate, which again is used for managing the life cycle of each individual scene. You can see we have a var, we have a variable for our window, which is, a, which is an optional UI window because maybe your app, uh, maybe your app's scene, whatever scene you're trying to open, doesn't open successfully. Well, you're not gonna have a UI window then, so it has to be optional. Right. Now, this function here, will connect to session, is, met, is used and called when your scene needs to connect to its scene session. All right. Now, let's see here what we got here. All right, so here, now this did disconnect is when is called when the scene disconnects from its session. Right, so when the scene gets released, as the comments down here suggests, when it gets released by the system, this method is called. And did become active, this, indi this indicates, uh, you know, this gets called when a scene becomes the active scene. Now, will resign active. This method, me, this method will be called when, uh, when this scene effectively enters an inactive state. So when it's no longer the active scene, this method gets called. Now, will enter foreground. This, um, this method is called when the scene, as the comment down here suggests, uh, when when the scene enters the foreground, uh, enters the foreground from the background, uh, so kind of in between that active and inactive state, this method gets called. So anything you need to do as the scene gets brought to the foreground should be done in here. Now, did enter background, this method gets called, as the name suggests, when a scene gets, you know, gets thrown to the background, and it's no longer the foreground most, the most foreground scene. All right. And really, that's it. That's, that's the scene delegate. So both the scene delegate and the app delegate work together to make sure that your app's life cycle and, your, and all the life cycles for your different scenes gets managed properly. Now, of course, they're not perfect because if you do something incorrectly, you will screw something up. Right, you have to be very careful about how exact about where you put certain things because you. If you put certain things in one place, but they should be in a different place, it might not act like you expect. So I urge you to read the documentation on these various methods. 
uh, from your app and seeing delegate classes so you kind of get a better idea of where certain code needs to go. But that really does it for this video, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.